How's everybody doing today? It's Scott the Mad Hattis with Adventure Day. I'm coming to you from Canada. All right. So I am in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Right beside, right behind me is downtown Niagara Falls. And right in front of me is the actual falls themselves. Now, that right there, my friends, that there is the Peace Bridge. Um, actually, no, that's the Rainbow Bridge. The Peace Bridge is in Fort Erie, which is about 20 miles from here. I'm going that way on, on, that, on that road right there. Okay, so that right there is the Rainbow Bridge. And as you can see, you can see why they call it the Rainbow Bridge. You see that bridge that's over there, that, that, though, that, that dock over there, that long one? Right under there, right right under there in the gorge is where the Maid of the Mist dock is. That is where the Maid of the Mist is, and it's about, I'd say it's it's about twenty, it's about thirty dollars for one adult person, okay, fourteen and over, to ride the Maid of the Mist, and that's on the U.S. side. I'm on the Canadian side, so on the Canadian side, a bit a little bit of information and some tips that I have for you is a when you come to Canada. You will need to change out currency. They use the dollar, but not the same dollar as the U.S. As you can see over on that side over there, that's where that's that's going to be Niagara Falls, New York. And if you go about 20 miles that way, that's going to be um, Buffalo, New York. Okay. Now, some tips about Niagara Falls, Canada. Niagara Falls, Canada is um, much more expensive. Than buff than than the than the um, New York side. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. At Burger King, you will easily spend fifteen to twenty dollars on a burger, fries, and a drink, all that together. Now, to be fair, you can get cheap souvenirs here uh, from a lot of the local shops. I mean, they have a whole midway here with walk through haunted houses they have a whole i mean it's on a whole nother level i'll have to do another video for you guys some some other day um so the now getting to canada's currency you will need to change in um okay my recommendation for coming to canada is to um is to is to bring your own food but plan one to two days or oh, at least one of your days here um during your stay that you will um where you can eat out because like I said, it's expensive. Okay. Now the denominations of Canadian currency is here is a Canadian dime. It's got um, Queen Elizabeth on the front and it's got a sailboat on the back. Okay. That's a Canadian um, dime. Okay. Now the Canadian nickel is got um, Queen Elizabeth on the front and then it's got a beaver on the back. Okay, simple stuff, right? Okay, um, a quarter. One second here, I have to find the quarter. Ah, here it is. Now, a quarter is Queen Elizabeth on the front and a buck on the back. Okay. All right, and now. All right, now, in Canada, they're... Um, Okay, it is very important that you don't, if you got a lot of coins and you will get a lot of coins if you shop, don't throw them away because there are no one, there are no paper bills under, um, under, for a denomination less than a fiver. So this right here is a $1 Canadian coin. It is also known locally here as a loony. It's got a duck on the back and it's got Queen Elizabeth on the front. That is a loony. That is a $1 coin. Okay, there are no one dollar bills. Okay, this is what they call a toonie. This is a two dollar coin. Okay, and there is um, usually there's a variation of different um, pictures or things on the back. Um, this one has a. Uh, I'm not sure what that is on the back, but you got Queen Elizabeth. This is a two dollar coin. Okay, now getting to bills. The bills are a little weird. Okay. Now, five dollars is this bill right here. It's come on, the wind's blowing. This is a five dollar note in Canada. Okay. All right. This is a ten dollar note in Canada. 
really shiny and beautiful okay and this is a $20 note okay they're, they're all kind of like a laminated kind of textury feel and all of that is to prevent um is is, is a is, is to help prevent um counterfeiting and all that other stuff now this is a very beautiful place but i highly recommend that you that you um that you plan ahead there's a lot to do here and there's a lot I mean, you got a garden down there I said the falls. that one over there is actually the horseshoe falls so so this okay and right over here is duty free if you don't know what duty free is it's um it's basically a shop where you can buy a bunch of essentials to take back with you to your home country however you do have to be in mind that when you are shopping you have a um a limit of 800 american dollars equivalent um okay duty and tax free basically when you buy something outside of the country um the u.s says okay well you paid the country you bought it you bought your stuff from you paid them their taxes but now you have to pay us our taxes on what you're bringing in so um and every per every everyone gets a personal allowance of eight hundred dollars and there are a bunch of little you know you know little um little you know nook and cranny rules like saying there's limits on like cigarettes you can only bring in one carton of cigarettes maximum i don't mean one pack you know i'm talking about like a whole carton equaling up to 200 cigarettes or a certain weightage of tobacco loose tobacco uh, also there's a limit on alcohol you can't bring um, i mean canada you can't bring firearms across the border um definitely not okay so yeah, but the only the only catch is if um, if you go to a duty free, um, you're not okay. When, when you go like for example, if you, if I were to um, because I'm leaving Canada now, I could walk into that duty free over there and buy what I want. But the only stipulation is I would have to go straight back across. I would not be able to leave the duty free and go straight back out into into Canada again. I would have to go straight across the bridge. That's just the rules. I don't know why, but whenever you go into a duty free of the country, that now that, that does not include an airport. If you're go if you're in an airport, you can shop to your heart's content. You don't have to be leaving the country. But if you are at a land border crossing, usually a duty free, um, you have you you have to when you're going to a duty free, you have to be expecting to leave the country. So if you ever come into into an, into another country or here even. Um, you would need to go to duty free and if you're coming from the u.s you need to go to duty free in the u.s before you come to canada and vice versa don't go to duty free here trying to exchange american to canadian because they'll look at you like you're crazy saying oh well you know you're supposed to be leaving if you come in here so that's the whole thing ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you watching um adventure day this is the very first episode I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to give you one last look of the falls and the surrounding area. And it's going to be up to you. This was episode one. Scott the Mad Hattis coming at you. Bye-bye.